Hi, welcome to IT Tech Expo Europe. My name is Alex Socher, working for Team Europe as a business development manager for IoT. Um, I'm going to show you the newest release of our Team Europe IoT uh, product, uh, which we just released uh, these days here in Amsterdam. And what you can see here on the screen are two components of our IoT solution. The one is a cloud-based uh, application. It's a user interface uh, in the cloud where we are showing live data coming in from a device. You just saw the device uh, in the back of us, uh, the industrial pump uh, we connected via TeamViewer with a TeamViewer agent installed on uh, the PLC on this device itself. I'm going to show you the device in a second, but that gets me, uh, let's get me through um, here the uh, demo itself. So on the left side, you can see the cloud environment. Uh, you see the dashboard. You see the data, live data incoming uh, from the device itself, from our endpoint. On the right side, what you can see here is directly connected via TeamViewer in a secure, in an end-to-end -end encrypted manner, directly to the pump. And we are able to manipulate the pump online uh, with low latencies as you're used from TeamViewer. I can turn on the pump, for example, which I did. In the background, you hear the noise that the pump turns, turned on with low latency. Immediately here in the dashboard, you can see live data coming in. So this is one of the new features uh, we just released these days. And at the same time, you see here on the uh, live dashboard running on the pump, uh, data like the flow, temperature, the voltage, and so on and so forth, as well as um, yeah, live, um, as well as uh, live data uh, generated from the sensors on the pump. I can also manipulate uh, the valves, which then immediately gets us into a uh, lower flow because I'm closing uh, the valves and uh, I can turn off the pump. Um, we are using this kind of use case, especially in the industry um, area. Uh, our customers uh, in the industry 4.0 area, they are looking for remote services. Uh, they don't have to get out to customers. Uh, they get just uh, remote control and remote troubleshooting uh, these devices from wherever their support guys are. So let's go quickly to uh, the pump itself, and I'll show you the pump, uh, what we connected, and then I will hand over to the guys from uh, PPC to show you the Thingverse integration and also an augmented reality experience. What you can see here is our demo setup. Uh, we do have our pump, our water pump. Uh, there is a power supply and here is the PLC by National Instruments. On the PLC, there is a TeamViewer agent installed. So uh, what we created with TeamViewer IoT is uh, being able to install our agent even also on headless devices. Um, the PLC itself um, connects the pump, connects also some sensors. We do have here uh, the flow meter, we do have also temperature and vibration sensors, as well as here the valves of the pump. Um, all the data, as I say, it's um, submitted into our cloud environment. And from the cloud environment, together with our friends from Device Authority, uh, we created and secure connect, uh, connectivity into the PPC Thingworks cloud. And uh, now I think it's time to hand over to my colleague, Jan. So I'm going to talk a little bit about is, uh, our Thingworks platform and the accompanying services. Thingworks is an uh, integrated framework that allows you to do an object-oriented fashion to build asset models of your, your factory or your assets in the field and represent them in, a, in a one environment. So we are able to source different kinds of data. It could be from PLCs with, with our Kepware solution, or it could be going through old data, picking data out of your SAP. But most importantly, we are allowed you to connect to basically anything to the Thingworks platform and contextualize this. Once contextualized, you could do analytics, you can uh, uh, do simulations, uh, visualization on Thingworks mashups, which is basically HTML5 web pages allowing you to uh, connect to the data inside the uh, Thingworks platform. Thingworks will be able to execute on premise in an Azure cloud or private cloud. So basically, you run Thingworks anywhere, you can run 64 bit Java. Um, let me show you one example of a Thingworks application. So this is uh, actually a standard application we're delivering out of the box. So once you have the Thingworks application or framework installed, you can install what you call manufacturing apps, which is basically allowing you to get uh, functionality out of Thingworks uh, right from day one by just configuring connections to your, in this case, PLCs, and allowing you to get access to your assets. So with our asset advisor, you can then uh, follow all of your machines, how they're doing, if they're in running, downtime, uh, or any issues. You can uh, focus on the, the, the actual machine instance and see 
see how this, this is uh, actually running since we started this morning. I go and uh, inspect properties on, on this particular machine and see how it's running. Uh, I would go and, and uh, as, a, as a manager potentially uh, inspect performance of my asset, see what kind of OE or all the equipment effectiveness I'm getting right now, so how much uh, performance I'm actually getting out of the equipment. So this is kind of the standard out of the out of the base uh, application you can install and run. But ThingWorks is really a completely open environment, allowing you to build basically anything you would need in order to uh, improve your processes. So what I'm going to be showing you here is uh, well, our Fourier Studio. Fourier Studio allows you to build uh, augmented reality experiences, uh, connecting to the ThingWorks platform I showed just before, and then create experiences where you are integrating. Uh, to all of the data uh, from, from a given asset, allowing you to superimpose that information in an augmented reality experience. So what we're going to be showing it on is uh, this pump's uh, setup where we have our Vuma. It's kind of a unique identifier both in position and in, in the actual instance. And by showing that in our iPad, it's going to recognize this and I can then uh, run the demo. It loads the experience and I can remove the backend and you see the instrument takes it floating in the air. I can see the current pressure move around. So this is uh, yeah, augmented instrumentation just floating in the air and before just persisting this in the background. If I want to uh, put a kind of a cat drawing in front, this could be used potentially if you want to do um, service instructions and show how to take uh, equipment apart. Alex, if you please turn on the pump and let us show how, uh, how data is going to be uh, changing. See the amps going up. I go down here. I can see vibration is picking up. Uh, I can see the active temperature. 